Hey everyone, in this video we will look at how to cal create uh, calculated measures in Power BI. So Power BI has a very strong uh, formula language called DAX and sometimes you want to calculate some values on the fly depending on the slicer or uh, dimensions. So you can use formulas and slice and dice your data. I think uh, a specific scenario that comes to my mind is using it for uh, date based time uh, so time intelligence so I'll, I'll let's just start and build something so i'll, I'll quickly uh, create a matrix and uh, what i will do is i will uh, get the calendar year on the on the columns and uh, english month name on the rows and what i'll do is i will show you the sales amount as a values field what happened there um let me just check so you, you can see over here that um, it shows us the the sales amount for 2010 2011 2012 and let's say i want to calculate year to date so when I say year to date, I mean accumulated value January and then uh, in February, we will uh, add the value for January to the value of February and so on. So it's a bit like a dynamic formula and I want those values. So how do I go about building that? We could use uh, a calculator, we could use a measure using a DAX formula and that will compute values for us on the fly. And another thing is that this is not materialized, so it doesn't sit in uh, the file or it doesn't occupy any memory it is calculated at runtime so let's do uh, this one i'll click on new measure on the home tab and i will just say um, sales sales amount by td which is equal to so i, I will take total by td and there are multiple functions you can see here total month to date quarter to date so we'll use total year to date in this case and i will say uh, sum of sales amount and i close the brackets and i will say on on the date key so i will say full date alternate key and hit enter so for what this does is it will create a measure for us i'm just trying to locate that So what it's done is it's it's basically put it in the dim customer table and it doesn't matter where it gets put. I can probably drag it and put it into the fact internet sales table. So I can change the home table to uh, fact internet sales. And now this sits in the fact internet sales table as you can see sales amount ytd so what i could do is i will i could just put the sales amount ytd next to this one and you can see over here that in 2011 the sales amount ytd uh, on in february is a sum of the values in january and february uh, in march it is a sum of values in january february march and each of these years so this is one uh, uh, calculated measure that we have created or it's a formula which sits in our Power BI file and gets uh, sort of it gets activated on the basis of how we slice and dice. For example, um, over here, let me go back to the report and uh, let me create, uh, so let's say on the basis of the geography, I'd like to create a filter. So let me get some values for dim geography. So I'll just put an English country name. And if I select Australia, um, you can see that the values are changing. 
similarly if i select canada the values are different so you can see here that this formula uh, recalculates itself based on uh, different dimensions uh, or uh, or filters we select so in this uh, video we learned how to create uh, calculated measures these are formulas that sit in a power bi file and get computed at uh, on the basis of user interaction and it's a, it's a very powerful way uh, uh, to <laughs> add add certain formulas and uh, compute values uh, Yep, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.